Hello, hello, people. Um, what is going on? I'm sorry if that if I spat at the mic there. Um, <laughs> I just woke up. I know you're probably thinking, why would you post something of um, of you being spawn raped? I mean, <laughs> come on, the Puckington. Um, but I was thinking, you know, what can you do in a situation like this? You know, it's kind of a rhetorical question because I will show you what to do in a very minute. Um, <laughs> as you see, I just popped up and popped down. That's not what my solution is going to be, just getting up and going down. I, w I do think, though, they should actually add maybe some second floor windows in the building that I'm actually a part of right now because at least we could have an even fight rather than you put in someone who's going to have a huge advantage over us when they do dominate us. <clears throat> But as you can see, I go to the left side. What? No, dog. Yeah. Yeah. I go to the left side, alright? I go to the goddamn left side. And it works. No one's ever there. No one's actually ever there. <laughs> Maybe I'm giving away a magician's trick right now, but hey, if it's going to help someone, fuck's sake. The left side is always there, and I'm not condescending to you guys at all in any way, anyone really. I'm just saying to everyone who is ever dominated on this map and always pushes on the right side and never gets anywhere. You know, I'm one of those players that has this huge persistence where I'm, I will always be that one piggy that escapes, you know. You know I'm, that one, I'm that one little piggy that leaves the toe, right? I am that one little piggy, and I'll always boast that as well. If I escape, I will say, haha, one little piggy escaped. But as you see, Matt. <laughs> My my, my uh, little people there, my squad mates, they don't actually spawn on me. No, no, they don't actually spawn on me at all. Um, I'm sitting here thinking, oh look, there's some squad mates. Okay, they can spawn on me now. They can help me out. No, nope, this one I spawned already over there. That's great, brilliant. Couldn't uh, be more happier. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm shitting myself. I thought, well, hey, I'll give a battle cry in a minute. Uh, in any second now. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what he says because my Vega screen can't see it. Um, but then another guy ends up popping up, spawning in there right in front of my face. So I'm thinking, oh shit! So I'm thinking, no, don't give up, Puck, come on! We'll keep it slow, and then boom, dead. No chance. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna move on to some team deathmatch um, playing. But if you can get anything from that, just use the left side and spawn in your squad mates if they ever um, have a chance. If you have a chance to spawn somewhere that's gonna help you benefit the team, then hey, just give it a go regardless if, you're gonna, if you know you're gonna die. Just, just fucking try at least. Um, the rest of this is just a bit of fun and um, a little different. Or this is just all different gameplay overall. Uh, I just threw a bunch together um, because I wasted my whole day sleeping. This is actually 7 o'clock at night, well it's actually 7.47 but uh, it's been half an hour but I woke up at 7 o'clock p.m. and I went to sleep at 4 a.m. right so I've had about approximately, I calculated this, 15 hours sleep I mean the minimum a person has right and I love this mass inside these houses except when there's some fucking support guy with unlimited claymores spread about the place but um the, uh, the, the minimum of a, a usual person would have is about eight hours. Um, roughly, maybe a business person who's on a tight schedule will be on probably say um, six hours, and an insomniac could be on four hours. But Puckington here was on fucking fifteen hours. What the? F oh, uh, you know, it, it hurts me. It hurts me. You know. I only work two nights a week, but I think what happened right was I picked up another night, third night, so I've been working nights and sleeping through the morning, and as a result, usually working two nights doesn't really give you an effect, you don't really have to adapt to anything, but when I took on the third night, boy oh boy, like every single, like, first, you know, first day when I came back home playing Battlefield, I was in a, I was in such a mood. I could smash my screen, I can go to DICE and say fuck you, you know, I could just, I could grab DICE and EA and strangle them both, that's how angry and pissed off I was at the game itself as well, and um, I don't know, and then I just slept through the whole day the next day, so, god damn, but I'll be leaving you with this ending clip, 
and uh, I'll see you next time. Maybe even in some bad company too. Hope you enjoyed the park. Peace. Oh, yes. it sounds balanced to me. Ah, fucking Dow again. Pull out your shotgun, man. Holy fuck. Show no mercy. Such a fucking bad kid. Come on, I'm on a nice day right now. Here we go, hold on a second, Dow. Honestly, that thing sucks to me. Oh, I'm in a beautiful. Oh, shit. Fucking right.